Greetings everyone, this is Iron Yoshi1212 here with another review, first Transformer review in a while, I apologize. And today we will be looking at the Transformers Beasts Machines Striker. That is her name, literally. So yeah, there she is, and um, yeah, let's get on with the because she came in a baggie. <laughs> Here we have Stryka, who is a Cybertronian ATV type vehicle. Looks really freaking cool. Like this design. Um, very unique. Um, it's got a lot of, you know, paint apps and stuff. Uh, a lot of, like, faded paint apps, kind of for, like, I guess, battle damage or something. It's quite nice. Um, the wheels are nicely molded. And, you know, looks pretty fierce. So, yeah. And she rolls. Rolls, sort of, these wheels. I don't think they want to roll, but they roll. On this side. Yeah, it rolls. That's nice. So, yeah. Nice Viacon. The course to compare. Here she is next to my other Viacon. It's basic scavenger. So, about the same length. And, uh, yeah. And she does have a gimmick, and I will say this is quite possibly the best gimmick in Transformers history. As you can clearly see, if this will focus, I don't think it will, but... There's her Viacon Spark Crystal, and it's also a button, so when you push the button... Her, like, guns move, and it's so awesome. Okay, this is the best gimmick ever. It's just... You know, I got... That's... Okay, I gotta do this again. One more time. Okay, I'm done. Ah, well, yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> that's real nice. Um, and she also comes with missiles, but when I got this figure, um, she did not come with the missiles when I got it. Kind of unfortunate, but... I won't let that happen my experience, but besides her pressure-pointed missile launchers, and let's just say I do not like those things. They hurt my fingers every time I try to push them. I don't know. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for her vehicle mode. Real nice. Yeah, nice. So let's get down to transforming her into her robot mode. Shall we? Of course I should. Yes. Let's begin. <laughs> Oops, but it's easily fixable. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait. Derp. There we go. And there we go. There is Stryka in robot mode. I like it. Pretty cool design. Um, if you're wondering why I'm holding her, there is a very important thing that has been left out of this figure. At least some mine. So, um, before we get to that, let's look at the details. Let's get a look at the head sculpt. If this crappy camera will focus. I highly doubt it. Um, pretty nice head sculpt. Pretty... Uh, show accurate, even though, you know, this line is infamous for not being show accurate. Uh, nice chest design. Um, and, uh, the arms are kind of weird. 
they look really derpy, but I'm not going to let that happen. Uh, the enjoyment I get out of this figure. Um, and her feet are made out of wheels, and you could totally go all movie versus side swipe and, you know, do that. But, yeah. but um, yeah, the reason I'm holding her is that <clears throat> there were two pieces that were very much left out. Very important. Turn the back. She is missing her heel spurs or whatever. Um, they were they're like heel spurs on the original figure, and when I got this one, um, they were gone. They did not appear. I did not realize that until well after I got her out. Bit of a disappointment there, and um, I guess due to her, you know, being a little back heavy, uh, she can't really stand up too well without, you know, support from those. Maybe I can do, like, the animated pose. Oh, I guess she can stand a little bit. But uh, we're going to have to move her around a little bit more. So get over articulation. Her head, uh, and, uh, it can move up, I guess. There really isn't much in the way of head articulation. Um, these arms, they can rotate a full 360. Um... They can go in and out, and they're on a ball joint right here, so... And they're also on a ball joint right here. Um, as far as elbow movement goes, uh, they can rotate around, and they can move up. She can be all, come at me, bro. Uh, no waist joint. Um, her legs are on ball joints, so they can rotate around. They can't really move backwards. I guess if you can rotate them around here, then that means they can, but then, you know... It looks a little awkward. Um, you know, they they can't really move in or out too good unless you know you kind of rotate them with the ball joint. Uh, the knees can bend at a pretty good range, and um, you know the wheels can rotate. <laughs> but you know you can also do this if you really feel like it. I guess that could kind of count as oh ankle tilts. Oh, okay, she does have ankle tilts, uh, but they don't really mount that really anything but um, you know you can do all the whole like movie side swipe and don't ever go Rrrr. okay I'll stop <laughs> we're trying to strive for professionalism here so let me just try to get her to stand come on there we go and of course to compile there she is next to scavenger He feels so small. Then again, he is a basic. So, there's your size comparison. And of course, her gimmick still works. You can still press the button and go. This is the best gimmick ever in a Transformer. I mean, it's super fun, super addictive, and it just goes. You know, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Oh man, that was, that was crazy. I love that gimmick. It's probably the best gimmick out of any Transformer that I have. So, final thoughts. I really like this figure. Out of most of the figures in the Beast Machines line, I think she's one of the best ones. She is one of the gems in this line. When I know a lot of people just hate the Beast Machines line, and I can kind of understand the toys were kind of weird. Some of them were very inaccurate to the show. And, you know, it was just, you know, iffy for most people. But Stryka is is one of the best ones. I mean, she's got a cool vehicle mode, a pretty nifty robot mode. It's it's a little show accurate. I mean, yeah, I mean, these wheels are supposed to be on her back, and her arms are, don't look like, I don't know, like a derpy penguin. And uh, her chest has a little more bulk to it, but, I mean, it's it's faithful. A little bit. Um, I would like to see this for a, a Generations, you know, redo. Yeah, I mean, she, I think she'd look good as a, as a Generations, like either a Deluxe or a Voyager. And I guess the same could be said for her Consort Ob Obsidian, which if you are wondering if I'm going to get that figure... <laughs> oh boy, that, I don't know, that one just doesn't look too perfect in my opinion, but I might, if I go to a con or something, I got her at Toy Fever, again, it's a store at my local mall that sells a bunch of, you know, 
liked action figures and toys like Striker and a bunch of Transformers where I got most of my Beast Wars stuff, excluding Phantom Fest. And, I, and this was one of the figures I wanted to get at Phantom Fest. I just saw Striker at Toy Fair as like, must have. And I'm, I'm glad I got her, even though, yes, she is missing her missiles and missing these little heel struts that are on the plug in here. But, um, it's not bad. I'm, I'm really enjoying this figure. I'd highly recommend it to anyone who wants to give the Beast Machines line a try. If you can only own one lot figure from the Beast Machines line, this has to be it. She is probably one of the best figures out there. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, addictive gimmick! Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> so with that said, I think that's pretty much it for now. So until next time... She fell. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, this is the Transformers Beast Machines Striker. And this is Iron Yoshi1212 signing off. Subscribe, rate, and comment.